the unveiling of WNBA players signing up for Unrivaled, the new three-on-three women's basketball league launching in January, has created anticipation among fans eager to see Caitlin Clark's name on the list. Clark made a significant impact on the WNBA in her first season, drawing high viewership and TV ratings. The 22-year-old standout would be a valuable asset to the startup league as it prepares for its debut season. According to Front Office Sports, Unrivaled is making efforts to enlist the 2024 WNBA Rookie of the Year. The league appears to be on the brink of a significant development as it gears up for its roster announcement on Wednesday. Here is the most recent update on Clark's potential decision to join Unrivaled. Clark's decision regarding joining Unrivaled remains undisclosed. The league hinted that she may soon join Unrivaled, with the timing of their club selection announcement potentially referencing her jersey number with the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Indiana Fever. Fans are advised to watch the Unrivaled team roster announcement on their YouTube channel at 11 a.m. from 10.22 a.m. to 11.22 a.m. ET on Wednesday. Clark dons the number. 22. Numerous reports indicate that Clark is considering a proposed $1 million agreement with Unrivaled, which would involve both a stake in the emerging league and profit sharing. Unrivaled has confirmed the recruitment of 34 WNBA athletes, among whom are Clark's acquaintances, Lexi Hall, her fellow Fever player, and Kate Martin, her former Iowa teammate. Unrivaled plans to divide its 36 players among six clubs, with the team roster set to be unveiled on Wednesday. The announcement will showcase the WNBA players who will be joining forces on the court in January. The question of whether 17-year-old Caitlin Clark will participate in the upcoming event remains uncertain within the whirlwind of excitement. WNBA fans are now speculating that Caitlin Clark has joined the roster of Unrivaled after a mysterious announcement. The upcoming 3x3 Women's Basketball League, co-founded by WNBA stars Nafisa Collier and Brianna Stewart, will kick off in Miami in January. The league already has an impressive lineup of players, including Clark's Indiana Fever teammate Lexi Hall. She is now among a distinguished group of players including Collier, Stewart, Angel Reese, Kelsey Plum, Chelsea Gray, Orika Goombawale, Jewel Lloyd, Kate Martin, and Brittany Griner who have also committed to this opportunity. The roster, initially set for 30 players, has now been increased to 36 due to exceeding initial revenue targets. The final lineup will be officially announced today, with rumors swirling that WNBA Rookie of the Year Clark has secured a lucrative $1 million contract for a brief period of work. Unrivaled intensified the speculation by making an announcement regarding club selection. The announcement included a faux excuse letter for employees to use with their bosses, highlighting the significance of the day for followers of women's professional basketball. It specifically requested permission for employees to be excused from work between 11 a.m. and 11. 22 a.m. ET. Clark is the rightful owner of the number 22 jersey. The letter emphasizes that this is not simply a routine roster announcement. This moment marks the beginning of the highly anticipated inaugural season of the new, star-studded 3v3 league, commencing on January 17, 2025, in Miami and broadcasting on TNT and Max. If it hasn't been clear already, it is advisable to set a calendar reminder for yourself. The announcement has excited basketball enthusiasts with the potential inclusion of Clark. It is widely believed that Asia Wilson, who also dons the number 22 jersey, is likely to be included in the ultimate lineup. In response to this, a fan commented, CC must be playing. Some fans expressed skepticism over the 22-minute video, with comments like, she has to be playing. Wait, why is this a 22-minute video? And 22-minute video is the clue? Asia and Caitlin? Despite this, a minority of fans raised concerns about Clark's potential involvement. Someone remarked that they would feel greatly disappointed if Caitlin were to become a part of Unrivaled. If her injury impacts the WNBA 2025 season, I will cease watching the league. Unrivaled president Alex Basil commented on Clark's potential involvement, stating, We are not employing an aggressive approach as commonly perceived. We are allowing her some time to relax and unwind from basketball. She is aware that a spot is reserved for her whenever she is ready. We are committed to consistently incorporating top talent whenever possible. If Clark is on board, a $1 million agreement would greatly surpass her rookie season base salary of $76,535 with Indiana. Her primary source of income is derived from endorsements with reputable companies such as Nike, State Farm, Gatorade, Wilson, Bose, and Buick. The women's basketball community was anticipating the announcement of the six-player rosters for the new unrivaled women's basketball league, set to be revealed on Wednesday. 
In its 29th season, the WNBA achieved its highest regular season viewership in 24 years, recorded the highest attendance in 22 years, and broke records for digital consumption and merchandise sales in 2024. Caitlin Clark, the Rookie of the Year from Indiana Fever, emerged as the primary force. She made history as the NCAA's top scorer in men's and women's basketball in Iowa. Under her leadership, Indiana reached the playoffs for the first time since 2016 and achieved their strongest record since 2015. During a recent Fox Sports tribute to Clark's college career, UConn's Paige Bookers and USC's Juju Watkins expressed their admiration for Clark, highlighting the enduring impact of his legacy on rising stars in women's basketball. Watkins commended Clark not only for her basketball prowess, but also for her exemplary character, stating, great player, good person as well. She's been great, and I'm really excited for her as she moves forward in her career. Watkins' remarks demonstrate the high esteem in which Clark is held for her impact on the sport, serving as an inspiration to future athletes such as Angel Reese, Bookers, and Watkins. Juju has made a remarkable achievement early in her sophomore year, surpassing Clark's record to become the fastest Power 5 player in college basketball history to reach 1,000 career points. She accomplished this feat in only 38 games, beating Clark's previous record of 40 games. Since her first year in college, she has emerged as a standout star in women's college basketball. In the previous season, the 19-year-old demonstrated her versatility by averaging 27. 1 points on 40. 1% shooting, along with 7. 3 rebounds, 3. 3 assists, 2. 3 steals, and 1. 6 blocks per game. If she maintains her current speed, she is highly likely to surpass Clark's record. She still has a minimum of two years remaining at USC, providing ample opportunity to assess her ability to achieve what Clark failed to do, secure a national championship. Clark's achievements in the WNBA can be traced back to her collegiate years, during which she had remarkable performances with the Iowa Hawkeyes before entering the professional realm. Clark not only holds the record for the highest scorer in NCAA Division I for both male and female athletes, but also achieved the title of National Player of the Year twice while playing for the Hawkeyes. Unfortunately, she made it to consecutive finals, being defeated by Angel Reese and LSU in 2023, and this year by Camila Cardozo of South Carolina, now playing for the Chicago Sky. Thanks to Clark's significant contributions to women's basketball, both on and off the court, the upcoming WNBA season is anticipated to draw even more viewers. Just as she left her mark in college this year, Paige Bookers and Juju Watkins are expected to help make this year one of the most anticipated. The win for KC Women's Sports Awards Banquet is a heartwarming event on the Kansas City sports calendar, celebrating the Women's Intersport Network for Kansas City's mission to promote the value of sports and fitness for girls and women, while offering leadership development opportunities. Recognized as the largest luncheon in the nation honoring National Girls and Women in Sports Day, this event consistently delivers an inspiring and engaging program featuring exceptional speakers. The tradition of hosting sports icons like Billie Jean King, Jackie joyner Kersey, Simone Biles, Sue Bird, and Brianna Scurry will continue on February 1st. WNBA star Caitlin Clark will be the newest guest at the upcoming event, which will be held at the T-Mobile Center to accommodate a larger audience. In a news release, Clark, the WNBA Rookie of the Year and NCAA Division I career scoring leader for both men and women, expressed that sports have been crucial in shaping important skills such as teamwork, resiliency, and confidence that continue to benefit her both on and off the court. Win for KC is an exceptional advocate for creating opportunities for girls and women in sports. I am thrilled to be a part of their celebration honoring those individuals who are making a positive impact. This is especially significant this week as Kansas City gears up to host the National Women's Soccer League title game at CPKC Stadium. This stadium, which was unveiled earlier this year, holds the distinction of being the first in the world purpose built for a women's professional team. Additionally, the ownership group of KC Current is actively working towards securing a WNBA expansion franchise. Win for KC director Taylor Oberstedt expressed, We wanted to find someone who really embodied the essence of the current women's sports movement as well as the spirit of Kansas City. CEO and President Kathy Nelson of both the Kansas City Sports Commission and Visit KC added, She is the exclamation point for us at this moment. The influence of Win for KC, the Sports Commission, and Kansas City as a whole is widely recognized internationally, solidifying our reputation on a global scale. Her agreement illustrates her recognition of Kansas City's influence and its strong support for women in sports. I believe she wouldn't have agreed to this without acknowledging our city's dedication to empowering women leaders and promoting women's athletics.
And I believe she is aware of this, recognizing the potential for success in her promising career at Iowa before being chosen by the Indiana Fever at No. Selected first overall in the 2024 draft, Clark hails from West Des Moines, Iowa, just a brief three-hour drive away. She has deep connections to our organization, remarked Oberstedt. She maintains a lifelong loyalty to the Chiefs, proudly recalling an amusing photo of herself donning full Chiefs gear, which she shared during a Manning cast broadcast of the Chiefs-Eagles game last season. We even had a Chiefs vending machine in our basement, she added, emphasizing her genuine fandom for the team even during less successful seasons, with relatives residing in Kansas City further solidifying her ties to the organization. In addition, Clark has caught the attention of Patrick Mahomes, who, along with his wife Brittany, and Angie and Chris Long, is actively seeking ownership of a WNBA team. He has long been aware of her career, even mentioning last season that he hoped he would never have to play against her one-on-one. -on -one. Because she would definitely be scoring on me, he said with a smile during a pre-Super Bowl press conference. This is all part of what is now known as the Caitlin Clark effect, which has had an impact on WNBA attendance and TV ratings due to her remarkable, often captivating performances. Reflecting on her high school and college basketball career, Oberstedt lamented, I was accustomed to playing in front of empty stands. There was not much buzz around basketball. Even just watching the WNBA playoffs, it is impossible not to feel emotional. It has brought newfound attention to women's basketball and other female sports that have previously been overlooked. We are beginning to receive the recognition we deserve as female athletes, which holds vast significance. This recognition could potentially provide additional support for the WNBA movement. Clark's significant impact contributes to the increasing momentum for a cause that has transitioned from skepticism to a proactive approach. Her visibility to both current and potential fans will be beneficial, offering insight into what the T-Mobile Center experience could be like for a WNBA team. However, this is just one aspect of the larger picture. Clark's forthcoming presence, along with her enthusiasm for discussing mental health as part of Wynn's wellness initiative, serves as the definitive statement, 